Hello and good morning everyone. It's a Monday uh, first day of the week and thank you for watching uh, this first episode of Business Book Day. As I mentioned earlier and in the past few uh, weeks, the reason why we created this uh, uh, show is to give uh, proper appreciation and give importance to the contribution of business books in solving your business problems. Lalo na po ngayong uh, panahon na ito wherein we are confronted by uh, uh, the biggest or one of the biggest challenges in our business, and that is the pandemic. So, uh, of course, there are mentors, there are associations. Hi, Manuel. Good morning. Uh, thank you for uh, listening. There are mentors and associations, as I mentioned, uh, na you can get uh, advices. Pero, uh, sometimes they they say that when you're alone, uh, one of the uh, avenues where you can find answers to your business questions and challenges are the books. And for me, I've been running one of uh, my business for 20 years and books is one of my companion in answering some of my business questions. And lalo na ngayon, you can use books, uh, business books to solve some of your questions which right now i'm doing it to share it and don't worry uh it's not that i'll be the one to share also my books eventually every week or some of the episodes we will invite you guys to share the business book that is helping you survive overcome this pandemic so now uh we'll start with this book of course um the reason why i started uh, this book by cutler on marketing as my first book in this first episode because marketing is very special to me. It allowed me to uh, um, allowed me to make my uh, business successful for 20 years. And right now, ito talaga yung isa sa mga makakatulong na uh, uh, school of thought uh, or skill set yung marketing mo in surviving the pandemic. So that's the reason why uh, this is the first book. And this is the summary of all of Cutler's work uh, as a marketer. So Cutler, Philip Cutler is the father of modern marketing. So now let's begin by discussing uh, 10 great powerful insights on this book. Of course, there's a lot of insights that we can get from this book, but I selected 10 that can help you help us survive the pandemic. So... Next slide, please. Of course, shout out to my uh, colleague, Jay, for uh, managing the backstage of this program. Uh, first of all, uh, this one is very powerful uh, to me. So Cutler said that there are two kinds of companies, those who change and those who disappear. And in some of the discussions where I am invited to speak in this in different webinars or in some chats that I have with other um, colleagues and yung mga kaibigan na nagtatanong, um, lumalabas no, na yung current business mo may not be fit to survive this uh, current pandemic and or yung current business operations mo may not be fit to survive the pandemic. And having that in mind, having this insight in mind that uh, those who change and those who disappear, we need really to change our company in order to adapt to the challenges of the pandemic. And yun nga, you have to acquire additional core competencies as mentioned by other people. But again, you remain with your core. For example, I am um, one of my businesses, events organizing or managing conferences. Uh, that's stay true to my core, but since people are in a lockdown, how can I be stay true to my core at the same time adapting to the changes that is happening? So right now, we're managing some of the conferences, seminars of different companies. We were able to jump or pivot to the uh, uh, online space and offer our services to those companies that are needing their voice. Okay, so again, don't forget. Uh, you need nothing kailangan mahalin yung kumpanya natin ngayon. We need to adapt. We need to change it. If needed be, we need to break it, destroy it, and create a new one in order to survive the pandemic. 
Next slide, please. Second insight is successful companies will be the few who can keep their marketing changing as fast as their marketplace. And there are a lot of examples na, again, talaga namang matagal ng uh, mabilis yung ating mundo. But right now, because of the pandemic, it becomes more uh, uh, more required for us, entrepreneurs, managers, leaders, to really uh, be fast, you know, to use speed as our competitive advantage in uh, keeping up with the marketplace. Iba yung marketplace, eh. So we need to keep on changing, keep, to, keep on evolving para makahabol or be ahead of that marketplace that's really challenging at this moment. So these are the examples. Next slide, please. All right, so COVID uh, entered the fray, and these are the current uh, situation of our marketplace. We are quarantined, uh, social distancing in in some places in our country is being implemented. So what did some of the companies uh, uh, implemented in uh, keeping a best or to be uh, to be uh, uh, the flow of this changing? Uh, Marketplace. Next slide, please. So, for example, in America and even in the Philippines, uh, there are data that states that uh, gym equipments are, you know, the sales are picking up because people are in lockdown and they're doing their um, uh, exercises inside the house. So, uh, a lot of demands on uh, equipments, gym equipments, or na pwedeng gamitin sa bahay. So. These companies or this industry is adapting to that changing requirement of the marketplace that they were able to offer online uh, the, uh, online store and deliver those uh, gym equipment. At the same time, yung messaging nila, uh, yung promotions nila, is talking to the people na who wants to get fit inside their house and they're offering different value-added services in this current time. Next slide, please. Again, thank you. I'm just expecting a uh, uh, few people to uh, view this episode, but thank you to all who are... Uh... Hi, Paolo. Boss, maraming salamat sa panonood. Uh, I hope to invite you soon. Hi, Vince. Thank you. So this is another example. Uh, Jollibee and McDonald, of course, both are... Hello, Boss Nico. Are able to uh, offer uh, what the marketplace needs. For example... Jollibee is now, uh, yung drive-thru nila, na naman, but they were able to ramp up their campaign on the delivery app so that they can uh, deliver food to the those who people are, who are in lockdown. Same with McDonald's, they were able to engage their uh, uh, customers by creating um, kindness kitchen. At the same time, they're also ramping up the, uh, the delivery service of McDonald's. So yung mga yun, nakapag-adapt yung dalawang uh, big quick service restaurant natin. And uh, also, what's noticeable is both of them share the campaign. So they both, this this uh, third uh, picture where Jollibee's uh, logo and McDonald's logo is being shown, and they were able to share a campaign and give thank you, give tribute to those delivery services that are helping us survive this uh Current pandemic, so that's a nice story to tell. No, uh, there's what you call cooperation. No, they cooperate in bringing in the message of hope and thanking our uh, delivery service guys, and then uh, you know sharing that campaign so that uh, we will be inspired. So next slide, please. Again, thank you, sa mga nanonood. And the third insight is wherever there is a need, there is an opportunity. So. Lo gone are the days that we create our, the product for a product's sake. Sabi nga ni Philip Kotler, uh, hindi na product base yung uh, marketing ngayon or yung mga organization. There are organizations na uh, product base pa rin. Hindi pa rin nawawala yung traditional thinking ngayon. But right now, we are customer focused and we try to get what the needs of the market or our target customers are. So, ito powerful na. No? Pag pinag-isipan nyo ngayon, if uh, you're undergo, your business is affected, uh, you should ask your customers, lalo na yung mga loyal customer mo, ano yung pangangailangan mo during this time? What are your needs? And then, uncover those needs that you can uh, 
get, produce a product or a service to satis satisfy that needs and be prof profitable at the same time. Always, whenever there's a situation like pandemic, there is a need that's waiting to be fulfilled. And that is an opportunity for entrepreneurs like us. Next slide, please. Again, thank you. So, lahat ng mga uh, products, lalo na essential products, no, na kailangan ngayong pandemic, is ginamit ang Grab, na hindi naman, wala naman silang delivery service dati, ginamit yung Food Panda, yung Lala Move, and other apps, for that matter, uh, using delivery to really reach their customer, reach their target market. Uh, another example for me, no, na hindi high-tech, no, and I'm, in, I'm based in Pasig, and so, uh, um, yung mga palengke, yung mga tindero, since mahaba yung pila sa Pasig palengke, uh, you can see a long queue of people. So what some of the sellers did creatively is they went to different subdivision. In the entrance of the subdivision, they set up a mini flea market, a mini market. So that's what I'm calling na there, there's a need for people not to go far from their home. And so... Some of those uh, entrepreneurial and creative minds, the marketer I will call, went directly to the market, set up shops in the entrances of different subdivisions, which I can see it, and then they set up their uh, fruit uh, stalls, uh, vegetable stalls, and a lot of other needs. Uh, that is true in my subdivision, and I see it also in other subdivisions who really don't want to go out of their home or farther away from their home to avoid being infected by COVID-19. So, yun yung adapting, giving, providing the need, and grabbing that opportunity. Next. And the fourth key insight in this book of Kotler on marketing that can help us is I defy, I, I pick the four source, the sources of marketing opportunities that Kotler um, was able to enumerate, no? So, ito, baka mapag-isipan nyo, you can um, use these three uh, mar uh, sources of marketing opportunities for your business. The first is supplying something in short supply. Ano ba yung kailangan ngayon na very short? So, uh, I have a picture, but, you know, uh, I might repeat it again, like the alcohol during the onset of the pandemic. Hanggang ngayon, short siya. PPEs are shorts, no? So, ano yung mga supply na short na pwede you have... Uh, uh, suppliers or you know direct suppliers that you can uh, get and then sell it to another to the market with a minimum uh, profit of course or depends on the quality na pwede yung supply para we can survive we can earn during the pandemic next supplying an existing products or service in a new or superior way so again uh, let's mention about the PPEs na lumabas maraming substandard na PPEs and ito yung isa sa mga reason why some of the doctors are uh, 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 infected or was able to get that COVID. Sabi nga nung isang doctor, sobrang init nung mga nagawang mga PPEs. Like, imagine yung tarpaulin, ginawang mga uh, PPE. Mainit yun eh. So, puyat yung doktor, pawis na pawis sa loob ng PPE. So, I mean, you create a new, yung standard medical grade PPEs, then you provide it to the market. Siyempre, kahit na mas mahal siya, it will be the one na, uh, be, that will be patronized by the market. Kasi nga, you create a superior product. Kahit yung burger or uh, I, I saw um, a package of uh, cake na meron ng other uh, cake plus uh, drinks na ka-package. So you create, uh, from a simple product, you create a better product and then offer it to the market no? at, a, at a profit, of course. And last but not least, supplying a new product or service. This will be very hard for entrepreneurs na talagang um, uh, we're dogmatic na that this will be, eto tayo, this will be our products that we'll offer. Uh, we cannot offer this product. But if you want to survive and you, know, you have to take chances, take a look, think about this uh, third source of marketing opportunity. Anong product ang pwede mong isupply? Anong service ang pwede mong provide in this type? So in our subdivision, again, that's a case, no? parang uh, malapit sa puso, is a lot of people who wants to go out, who buys, meron parang sa, anya si Boss Nico, no? parang pasabay lang din. No? They charge a fee, they become the grab of the subdivision, they become the, the lalamove, 
of the subdivision, they uh, charge a minimum fee. At least, hindi sayang yung pag-alis mo. You earn kung marami kang binibili. No? So at least, you also, you also help uh, curb, uh, flatten the curb because ikaw na nga yung buwibili for your community. So again, supplying a new product or service in this time is a source of marketing opportunity. Next slide, please. Hello, Boss Joel. I'm looking forward to um, hearing you share the book that you love since we are both, are both book lovers. And so next time, invite kita rito sa show na to. Because uh, again, sa mga nanood, lahat kayo, uh, I know you're a lot of entrepreneurs. Hi, Wensi. So, um, um, I mean, you have books that you use in order to, to survive this uh, pandemic. And I wanted you to share it. Kasi let's insp inspire each other so that, uh, you know, we can solve this problem. Again, we have mentors and I have association. We have associations or groups. But at the same time, we have books, no? Na nasa bookshelves lang natin, waiting to be read or re read again so that we can uh, get the nuggets of wisdom para makasurvive tayo sa pandemic. Again, uh, these are the things. Uh, the first source of marketing opportunity is and then provide this product, the PPAs again, and uh, second, improve a uh, better product. So, hindi naman zoomong na una sa market, eh, no? So, sabi nga ni Kotler, uh, create a better product, then offer it to the market. Ngayon, nagahabol si Zoom, si Facebook, their, uh, or si Cisco, they're improving and giving for free their services, but because Zoom was able to capture a large chunk of the market, no? And hindi siya yung first to market. Hindi siya yung unang technology. Bak siya yung nanging ginagamit? Lalo sa Pilipinas, Zoom meeting, no? Kahit na Nagpalabas pa na there's a, a, a leak in the information in our data, but we still use Zoom as one of our preferred uh, video conferencing uh, or meeting tool in the internet. So that's how Zoom was able to grab the market opportunity. They, the owner provided a better product and service. And last but not the least, yung mga doctors natin, no? they created a new product or service. You go to Consulta MD, you ask... Uh, through online, they will, you will able to uh, get free, uh, consultation with a fee to doctors. Of course, there are free services that you offer online, yung mga ibang associations. But this one is you know, a great uh, service during this time. So, the uh, question is, in your industry, in your company, can you create this type of service, this type of new products to cater to the needs of the current market, the current marketplace? Next slide, please. Of course, we're down to the 50% uh, of my presentation. Number five, modify our current products and sell them to our existing customers. By the way, before I explain this slide, I got some of the points from uh, uh, Ansop's uh, matrix. Again, Eager Ansop's matrix, which what uh, Cutler did is broke it down to six uh, different uh, uh, action plans or strategies or insights. But for this moment, uh, ito yung building demand, no? building demand generation, vis-a-vis uh, -vis markets and products. But I only took three of those uh, uh, insights or actions dun sa ANSOP na kinerate ni Cutler. Out from Igor Ansop's matrix. So this is number five, modify our current products and sell them to our existing customer. Marriott, right now, di ba? Um, there's no events. Um, of course, sabi nga nung last, nung, nung GM nila, 70% uh, occupancy, but still the, the sales are low. So what they did is create a catering where they can deliver to your small parties no, so they did that. They know they now do delivery service, and that's it. They modify since meron sila ang Cornelis, they create delicious food and they modify it. Na hindi mo kailangan pumunta ng Marriott Hotel because hindi ka naman makakapunta. You can go, you can call them if you have a uh, like what you call um, a birthday celebration or an event for that matter, a seminar. You can call them, they can supply the food, they can deliver the food. So they were able to modify and. Uh, the manager, the GM is happy that the sales are good in this modification that they created in their current service and product. So next slide, please. 
six. So again, from Igor Ansov's Matrix as uh, broken down by Philip Cutler, design new products to sell to new type of customers. And we now go to Paras Alter Stations. You go, to, you go to the malls in SM in particular, or different malls for that matter. Pero sa SM ay so Paras Alter Station. And this, uh, uh, the owner, uh, sabi niya meron siya around 140 or 150 uh, uh, stores or retail stores inside the mall. So the question is, paano siya mag-survive kung wala namang mall ngayon, di ba? And marami siyang staff na, you know, to, na he, he has to provide. And he was able to offer this to retailers and to other companies. He, instead of alt, doing, alt, wala namang iipapa-alter, no? They created face masks. So my price point siya for a standard face mask. And again, those who wanted, those companies who are listening right now, you can go to Paras uh, Alter Station. They are creating face masks. Uh, I'm promoting this to support their business since maraming staff. No? If you're an entrepreneur, hindi mo naman inisip yung sarili mo primarily. Diba? Yung mga tao muna na, nasa, na umaasa sa'yo. So again, Paras uh, Alter Station now creates face mask. And you can order a branded one or a standard one. So depending on the price point. Of course, pag branded yung product, medyo mas pricey. Again, that's number six. Design new products to sell to new type of customers. Can your company do that? Next slide, please. Seven, design new products or prospect in new geographic areas. Uh, if you are a stock market investor or if you are an entrepreneur na mahaba yung, uh, uh, vision, for example, if our country is flattening the yung curve natin, is there an opportunity to sell your products or services to U.S. market na still they're undergoing uh, mataas yung uh, cases of uh, COVID and yung mga needs nila? Can we provide some of those needs sa uh, North America or for that matter sa Europe? Ano yung mga needs na pwede natin supply? Or for that matter, if uh, you're from the Mindanao and Visayas, uh, your company is based there. Have you provided any uh, products that you're only offering in Mindanao, but you wanted now to it Metro Manila because the Metro Manila is needed? So those, this is number seven is very critical. Kung wala talaga market sa current geographic uh, area mo or retail area mo or service area where you operate, you go outside of that and you provide that, pro that new product or your current product to that uh, new geographic area because they need it also. So that is something to think about, diba? If there's no sale talaga dun sa, sa mundo yung ginagalawa mo right now, go outside of your world. Sabi nga, outside of your comfort zone is your magic zone, diba? Outside of, outside of your box is a magical world, world waiting to be conquered. Okay, so that's number seven. Next slide, please. So number eight, so product marketers understand the challenge is to create relevant and distinctive product differentiation. And um, in one of the many sessions that I attended, uh, they described that be differentiated, be differentiated. Of course, pwede ka naman maging differentiated, pero kung hindi yun relevant sa market mo, your market will not uh, buy your product. It has to be relevant and distinctive. No? Ang, ang keyword is relevant differentiation. Yung sapul sa puso, tagus sa pangailangan nila. They really need it. It's relevant on their current needs. And so, they will buy it. So, always think if you will create a new product or if you will modify your product, if you will offer your product, is it relevant right now? And what's the relevant differentiation of your product compared to other products? For example, uh, uh, for every product that they buy, Sa iyo, you donate a portion to a community that needs funding. Then it becomes relevant. That's one strategy. And for every product that they buy, you donate a PPE to a doctor. Those are some um, ideas lang naman. But again, uh, mas powerful yung brain nyo sa business nyo, mas kabisado nyo yan. I believe that you can create relevant differentiation because it's your product. So let's, uh, I just highlight four uh, differentiation that you can uh, latch into that's first is physical differentiation uh, second availability differentiation service differentiation and price differentiation so let's uh, 
uh, elaborate on that further. Next slide, please. So physical differentiation. So I go with the packaging. So it's uh, sustainable packaging. So mga box na hindi na plastic. So that is a relevant differentiation at the side of the time. So if you want, you can seal it with a plastic. But again, think of something na relevant siya on this current situation or relevant siya because uh, sustainability is one of the buzzword right now. We're trying to push that. So let's be relevant on that particular manner. So ano yung packaging mo or yung bottles mo, gano, yung shape, bakit ganun yung shape, or yung standard, yung quality. Again, yung sa PPEs, I always ask them, bakit, so because I, during the first, uh, the onset the, of the pandemic, I tried to uh, offer my friends uh, PPE kasi I believe on that product kasi medical grade. Maraming nagtatanong bakit ang mahal nung uh, PPEs na, that you're selling. I mentioned the keyword is medical grade. There may be cheaper or affordable PPEs, but are they medical grade? Do they have medical certificate? It's different. So yung standard, yung quality, di ba? So it's different. So next slide, please. Availability, differentiation. It can be like, are you still open, your store? So may mga stores tayo na food na, they're open only for delivery. They don't uh, cater dine-in, of course, for obvious reason. And again, uh, I like what's happening right now at my Viber. There's a lot of Viber community. So welcome, you can still order some of your hard uh, uh, homework stuff. And of course, Jollibee is there also. You can check all their offerings in the Viber. SM also uh, join in the fray. So those are these are just newly created uh, uh, Viber community in order to make them available to the market. Since yung Viber sa bansa natin is tayo yung, I think, sa Southeast Asia or for that matter, sa buong mundo, one of the highest uh, members of users of Viber is nasa Pilipinas. So it's a better platform. If you have a money, then create a Viber community. But of course, kahit na wala ka naman pera, if marami kang database on your mobile phone, you can create your own Viber community to just uh, engage your clients, your customers, and your partners that you exist in the Viber and that they can still top your service. So next slide, please. Of course, service differentiation. Um, they may be Lalamove, they may be Food Panda, they may be Grab or JRS or whatever. But I mean, it's still about, is it speed? Is it the politeness of the of the people that's delivering the goods? So you can differentiate your service, no? So it's up to you. Right now, ito ba yung pwedeng gamitin mo para you can create a sale, a sale during this time of pandemic. It's up to you to select a differentiation that is relevant and that is part of your personality or the personality of your organization. Next slide, please. Of course, this one I love, uh, price differentiation. Uh, uh, obviously, I just highlight Nike. I'm waiting for that mask, but the quality and the price may be high because may mga mura tayo sa, eh, you can buy 50 pesos or 20 pesos face mask but of course uh you can differentiate yan yung kasi sa mga pangunahing pangangailangan natin right now is the the face mask and some of the brands are taking advantage even the nba is because of wala silang sales sa uh, sa mga t-shirts or other basketball merch and merch merchandises they're selling face mask as a as a merchant merchandise no just to generate a sale. So, ano yung pwede mong gawin na you can generate a sale because yun yung need ngayon. And of course, is it the price differentiation? Kasi maraming mga food, maraming burger na nagbibenta, maraming uh, like rice na binibenta dyan sa market. Of course, sabi nga ni Michael Porter, you can be the cost leader if you wanted to or you can be the, you know, the quality and high price, no? Para assure naman kami na quality yung, ano mo, we're willing to pay a value, uh, the added cost or added price to that product of yours kung maganda yung quality. So it's up to you, but you can use price differentiation uh, right now, at this point of time, depending on the target market. Okay, next slide, please. Of course, we're down to uh, uh, the last, uh, what you call that, last two key insights that I called, collect, collected from this book of uh, Philip Cutler or Cutler on Marketing, which is still available, ah. It's still available, pero medyo hindi na marami. So if you're starting to know marketing, 
Ito yung isa sa mga nire-recommend kung bilhin mo agad na book. Because the summary na ng lahat ng mga works ni Philip Kotler to. Okay, nine is the process of planning may be more important than the plans that emerge. Managers, or I, I uh, replace it by entrepreneurs, must think about what has happened, what is happening, and what might happen. You sh Ang ibig sabihin nito, thinking time is very important in this situation. You cannot be too emotional na, oh, no, what, what will happen to my business? Oh, pag pinagana may emotions mo, then you will not go forward. You cannot see, uh, if you all, you will always be looking, if you're emotional, you will always be looking at the situation as a glass half empty. But if you have a thinking time and moving forward, which a lot of entrepreneurs are moving forward and uh, professionals, managers for that matter, sabi nga nila, you need to have a thinking time on, on what to do. Kumbaga, deliberate thinking on what to do, ano yung nangyayari, ano yung nangyayari, ano yung nangyayari, ano yung nangyayari, at ano yung pwedeng mangyayari. So, Sabi nila, di ba, 18 months to discover the vaccine. So, 18 months ka bang malalockdown o wala ka bang gagawin? If that's the case, will you be uh, just contented watching Netflix, you know, as your resources, as you see, as you're seeing your resources dwindling down? Siyempre, you need to act. And by thinking deliberately, you will be able to, uh, you know, create some action plans na can solve your current situation. Again, ang sinasabi rito, yung plano, it does that matter. What matters is the process of planning. The way you and your team are discussing, engaging on what are ways to solve or to uh, mitigate the effects of the pandemic. Or what products or services can we offer at this time. Diba yung process na yun eh, yung exchange of idea, it's more important, sabi ni Kotler, than the output itself. Because it makes everyone energized and it inspires a lot your your organization to move forward. Na uh, you as a leader, as an entrepreneur, they will see na you're not giving up, you're fighting. And since we follow the leaders, no, kung ano yung energy nila, we absorb that energy and we use it to also battle what is in front of us. And then. Diba? Yun yung better. So that's this number nine is a more important insight if you're an entrepreneur. Next slide, please. Hi, Ched. And last but not the least, of course, uh, hi, Ed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching, Ed. Of course, from Japan. Arigato gozaimasu, mga ninyo. Last but not the least, uh, Yung isa sa mga ko, marketing is a learning game. You make a decision, you watch the results, you learn from the results, then you make a better decision. Diba? And that is crucial. Kumbaga, it's a continuing process. Marketing does not, if you learn marketing, it will not say na I have all the answers at hand. Kasi nga, by the definition of Caleb Kotler, marketing is understanding your market. And if you understand, if you try to understand your market, it means that your market is in every second, by the second, it is evolving, it is changing. The behavior of the people are changing. Lalo na ngayon, the behavior is of the population has completely changed. And so you have to learn, you have to make a decision, and you know, you plan, you implement your marketing plan or marketing actions, and you watch the results. And sabi nga, if you don't have a data, it's just an opinion. So you implement your plan, see the results, and that is your data. And then create another plan. And then again, watch the results, see the data, and then create another plan. It's called uh, 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 spiraling upward. No, It's called progress. It's called, uh, it's like we being Thomas Edison. No? We're trying a lot of options. And then every day we learn na uh, itong option na to, it's not working, so we change our option. We become successful. And di ba, before COVID naman, we are doing that, or some of us are doing that. And di lalo na ngayon, we have to uh, learn more, uh, experiment more, so that, uh, you know, failure is just part of the process in order to for us to find the right answer. And definitely, if 
we practice this number 10, we will find the right answer. I don't know if it's sooner, but definitely we will find the right answer. It will help us uh, survive, uh, make our organization survive. No? So don't give up. No? So there are a lot of things that we can do. Okay, so that ends my uh, presentation. Hi, Cecil. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, hi, Chari. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, Neil. I'm, 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 uh, I'm so happy uh, that all my friends are here. No? Okay lang ako na tayo magkwentuhan. And hopefully next time, you can be one of my guests. And you can be the guest. And you will share your the, bis the book, the business book that uh, you are using or have been part of you, uh, have been part of your success. No, that's the essence of this app, of this show. No, we share business book insights. No, so thank you very much. And if you have questions, I'm willing to answer my questions. Jay, can you uh, please uh, flash some of the questions if there are questions? Of course. Before that, uh, uh, we have a group on our show. Uh, we wanted to interview SMEs uh, for free. Thank you, Vince, for free. So, yun yung tulong namin, no? Uh, we wanted to promote you. Thank you, Manuel. I hope I, I have inspired you. Oh, may nakuha ka konti. Thank you, Miko. It's appreciated. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, uh, you are inspiring me to continue this one. And mahirap, no? I mean, uh, but, yeah. Marriott, sabi nga, skating show, be. I told you pwede, yes. Uh, and I know that your sales are up, so that's great. Okay? So, Mukhang wala lang questions or... <laughs> Boss, nagmana ako. Sabi ni Joel Pascual, ang aking... Isa sa mga mentor ko si Joel Pascual. Uh, idol ko yan. Hindi pa ako nasa trade show in business. I always see Wufex as one of the big shows and I'm happy that he is watching, he's supporting me. Thank you, Boss Joel. I hope that... in uh, your staff also, Charlie, Paolo, thank you for watching. And of course, uh, thank you, Benda, Marco. May question ba? Wala na? Of, of course, uh, another slide. Please, may isa pa tayong slide. It's a short, sweet but short, but hopefully, of course, follow me at uh, the Facebook. And ito, kung na-miss nyo, kasi yung ulitin yung episode, um, it will be shown at the YouTube. And of course, may podcast din to. Okay? It will be uploaded in my podcast at Orly Balesteros. And again, I hope that someday, sooner than later, will be able to see face to face and at the same time i'll be able to invite you if you have a if you have a book that inspired you business book ah hindi novels of course i also read novels but uh, right now we need um, insights from those masters mga authors bakit business book kasi they research on it they work for years in order to produce that beautiful book and sayang naman kung they will just uh, uh, be lying in your bookshelves they're gathering dust might as well share the, in, the insights that that book has provided you. And that's in, the, in my way, that's what I'm doing. And to end this, I just want to give you this message. A business book a week will keep your performance at peak. Thank you very much for watching the show. I'll see you soon. See you at next episode next Monday. And God bless you. Stay safe. And hopefully I can invite you to be the presenter here. PM me if you wanted to present. Uh, share your book. I'll be willing to open this show for you because this show is not only for the books that I love, but also I want all of you to share your business book. I want us to help each other, inspire each other because hindi naman ako ang balon ng kaalaman, di ba? Lahat tayo ay may alam at lahat tayo ay may paboritong business book that guide us to handle this pandemic. Bye-bye. God bless you. Happy Monday. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, guys.